what is up everybody welcome to my full hydrogen routine on how to smell so good and so sweet all day long so before i hopped in the shower i decided i wanted to decompress and relax and thank you to our sponsor of the day brio that was possible melt away aches tension and knots with brio's i neck 3 pro neck massager it delivers a full coverage massage every single time y'all it's 270 degree c-shaped construction allows for a 50 percent wider reach compared to most neck massagers you can use the i neck 3 pro anytime anywhere and without the restrictions of wires i love that i can pick between three massage modes and to be honest y'all I can't even choose a favorite. They're so relaxing. It literally feels like a massage at home. Like it really gets up in those knots. Like look at the slow, what? Yeah, girl, it feels so good. So you can also download the app to customize your massage, which I think is so dope. As a new mother, I can't make it to the masseuse as much as I'd like. Thankfully, I have a massage at home with my iNeck 3 Pro. I love to read a good book, relax, and use my neck massager to decompress after a really long day I loved my neck massager so much that I wanted to gift my husband with something he could relax with as well and I got him the Brio foot massager at this point it's a whole full body massage I got the neck massager the foot massager Javon is always on his feet so I know that this massager would be a perfect Christmas gift for him so I called him downstairs to surprise him with an early Christmas gift he was so excited and he absolutely loved it so if you're looking for the perfect gift this holiday make sure to head to Brio browse their website and find the perfect gift for this holiday season shop with Brio today Okay, so straight into this hygiene routine, I'm taking my exfoliating glove. I got this out Ulta. This one is definitely going to scrub you down. So if you like a super rough exfoliator, this exfoliating glove is great. You especially want to exfoliate under your armpits to get rid of any built up deodorant all on your arms, just everywhere, girl. Just scrub it down. Something about a scrub down just will always do it for me. I always feel super refreshed and genuinely clean after this. I'm also taking my dr broner's unscented soap we're using the unscented soap today because we are trying to smell sweet so we have to be particular about the base cleanser we're using i didn't want to mix and match too many scents so i kept it simple and i use the dr broner's unscented soap and this works as a great base cleanser so we can build on top of it with sweet smelling scents so to exfoliate my feet i'm using this dry brush that's also from ulta and i'm going to take that unscented dr broner soap and really just scrub down my feet getting a nice scrub down okay don't just let the water run down on your feet make sure you are scrubbing your feet i do this every night to keep my feet nice and clean and soft okay y'all so i'm taking my natural loofah back scrubber Y'all, when I tell you, this was a game changer for me because really, how are you supposed to clean your back without this? You can't. And if you're prone to back knee, wow, what? This is amazing. Still with the Dr. Broner's unscented soap, I like to use sensitive products on my skin because my skin is sensitive, okay? That back scrubber is so relaxing, 10 out of 10. Okay, y'all, so it's time to shave. And like you saw, I exfoliated before I shaved. 
This definitely just gives me a smoother shave and leaves my skin feeling so soft. So I'm going to shave my underarms. So I'm going to shave upward and downward. I found that shaving like this definitely makes my hair grow back slower. So definitely would recommend doing this. I also do laser hair removal, but I didn't do it that day. So I am continuing with my laser hair removal treatments. But yeah, girl, I just shaved because I didn't have time to do my laser hair removal but just shaving my legs as well getting everything nice and smooth there is nothing like laying in bed okay legs are shaved moisturized you feel me like there's just something about it so this is like my super in-depth hygiene routine obviously i don't shave every single day but just when i want to pamper myself this is what i would do i also am using like a lot of products in this video so on a day-to-day -day basis i want to go this hard but on those days where i really need self-care i'm gonna go hard so this is the olay body Body wash and it is in the scent sugar and cocoa and it's bomb y'all it's the sugar and cocoa butter one and this is an exfoliating and moisturizing one now i'm using like low-key a lot of exfoliators in this video and i didn't mean to so i would prefer to get the smooth one just because i already exfoliated with my exfoliating glove and i'm going to use a different exfoliator a little bit later but it does smell really good it smells really sweet it sticks to the skin nice and leaves your skin feeling nice and fresh and then i'm going to take that same unscented dr broner soap and clean down there you're always going to want to rinse very well when you use any type of soap or cleanser in your lady parts okay here is the we scalp and body scrub oh my goodness this sticks to the skin so nicely smells so good this is a sweet scent that you want to smell like oh my gosh i can't describe it it just smells sweet <laughs> like there's no other way to put it i love how this foams up on the skin it's an exfoliator but it also foams up nicely it's also very chunky which i love oh my gosh i love this product 10 out of 10 out of 10 and again it'll have you smelling super sweet so this is bomb one of my favorite exfoliators and i use this last so my body can feel very soft when i get out of the shower so this is the last product i use i'm going to rinse it off and it leaves my skin feeling nice and moisturized which i love Okay, so now that we're done with our shower, we're gonna head out of the shower and do our post shower body care. Don't forget the post shower. Sometimes we stop at the shower. Baby, there's post shower things that need to happen. So I'm gonna use my Dove Even Tone deodorant. I tried to be a no aluminum type of gap and it just didn't work out. So I am using the Dove Even Tone. This is a sweet smelling deodorant, of course. I'm keeping it consistent. And to top everything off, to really have the sweetest of the sweet scent, Fancy Body Butter Holiday Edition. Baby, you wanna smell like cinnamon rolls? Do you wanna smell like cinnamon sugar? then you need to go ahead and apply this. I love to put this on the top half of my body. It's a little expensive, so get you a regular lotion to put on your legs. Nobody's smelling your legs, you know? Okay, so after I apply that to the top half of my skin, I'm taking my belly oil. This is something extra I like to do since I am almost four months postpartum. I like to love on my postpartum body. It's just therapeutic for me, and you know, just the form of showing my new body love, accepting my new body, embracing my new body hello postpartum mamas out there your postpartum body is beautiful and you better stick beside them. okay so i'm using a fragrance body oil so i personally love body oils this is the pink sugar one i pick mine up at pond city market in atlanta i just love how this applies and smells it's so subtle yet so potent and it doesn't irritate my skin like perfume now i can do like a perfume collection and you know perfumes i recommend but if it's a day-to-day -day basis i'm probably going to be wearing a body oil and i always get stopped and get told i smell good so yeah body oil is real deal so i want to go through my skincare routine real quick so i'm using the kields ultra facial cleanser along with the good molecules toner and some tatcha dewy skin cream love this and then the elemis superfood serum and for my sunscreen i'm using the yours um, I just tried this out and I really like it. And then I'm back on my Gushua stuff. Gushua, is that how you say it? Gush, 
girl you know what i'm talking about this went viral in 2020 and then everybody stopped doing it but i'm about to start doing it again because when i was doing it i definitely saw a difference in my face and just like the congestion of my face sometimes my face is a little puffy so that definitely just helps to really snatch up my face so after i cleanse i'm using my tatcha dewy cream i love this like i'll pay the 70 every time it's just so good y'all it has my skin always glowing and then i'm going to take the good molecules toner and mix that with my moisturizer oh, this is just like the best combo y'all it leaves my skin feeling so replenished and moisturized I'm also patting this into the skin, making sure to press it into my skin nicely, and then waiting for it to dry. Do not layer product after product after product. Allow that product to soak into your skin and you'll see the best results with your skincare. So I'm using a toothbrush that's designated to my lips, girl. I do this every morning and every night and it keeps my lips very just soft. Of course you can use lip scrubs, but I don't know. I feel like I need something rougher than a lip scrub i'm going in with my elemis superfood serum this always has my skin glowing and just giving radiant giving lively giving awoke yeah again i waited about two minutes in between each product to make sure it was soaking in and then i'm taking my gushua and i am just going in girl this feels so good like it really just releases something in your face so i'm gonna be consistent with this y'all we're gonna see what it do but i'm just going to do all of these little pattern situations i saw it all on tiktok so let's hope it works um we'll see Okay, and last, I'm applying my sunscreen. This was at night, so obviously I don't put sunscreen on at night, but I wanted to show you the products that I use in the morning, you know? So last thing, we're using cuticle oil. Oh my gosh, cuticle oil. Like, it really is a game changer. When you have nourished, moisturized looking cuticles, it just makes your hands look so much better. So I made sure to moisturize my cuticles. I'll also do my feet, so everything just looks really well. It also helps to preserve your pedicure and manicure and just makes your hands look overall better i hope you enjoyed this video if you want more hygiene videos or self-care videos like this make sure to comment down below i love you i appreciate you god bless you and i'll see you next video